key principles of children's rights. Non-discrimination. Every child, regardless of their race, gender, nationality, religion, or social background, has the right to equal treatment and opportunities. Best interests. Decisions concerning children must prioritize their well-being and best interests. This principle guides policies related to adoption, custody, and child protection. Right to life and survival. Every child has the right to life, adequate nutrition, health care, and a safe environment that enables their survival and development. Protection from abuse and exploitation. Children have the right to be safeguarded from all forms of abuse, neglect, violence, and exploitation, including child labor and trafficking. Freedom of expression. Children have the right to voice their opinions, thoughts, and concerns in matters that affect them, fostering a sense of agency and empowerment. Education. Every child has the right to education that is free, compulsory, and of high quality, providing them with opportunities to reach their full potential. Family and Identity. Children have the right to maintain their family relationships and cultural identity, unless it's deemed contrary to their best interests. Play and Leisure Children deserve opportunities for play, leisure, and recreational activities, promoting their physical, mental, and emotional development. Protection in Conflict Children affected by armed conflict have the right to special protection, including access to health care, education, and psychological support. Challenges and progress While progress has been made in recognizing and upholding children's rights, challenges persist. Millions of children still face poverty, violence, lack of education, and other forms of deprivation. Child labor, child marriage, and exploitation continue to mar the lives of many children globally. Efforts to protect children's rights require collaboration among governments, NGOs and civil society to ensure their proper implementation. Conclusion Children's rights are not just the legal framework they represent the moral imperative. A society that respects and upholds the rights of children paves the way for a brighter future. By investing in their health, education, and overall well-being, we are nurturing the potential of the next generation and building a foundation for a just, compassionate, and equitable world. The realization of children's rights is not only a matter of legality it's a reflection of our commitment to creating a world where every child can flourish.